Besides the KPI Explorer, there are other ways to search within and filter the data. To start with, let's click on the magnifying glass to open up the search option. We'll start by searching for 362, and it runs a wildcard search to look within the data itself to find any matching values that are contained in any part of the integer. We see here the highlighted cell on the first page, and we see that there's one other value available. If we click the down arrow, it will take us to the corresponding page that also contains that value as well. Plus, you can search beyond just the values, you can also look for the row header information. As an example, if I search for a label, we will once again be taken to the corresponding page that highlights this information on a particular row. Now, in addition to the search capabilities, we have advanced filtering capabilities as well. We will click on the filter icon to open up the menu. The basic menu that opened up will have an option to add a series of filters using an AND operator, but you will also be given an advanced option to allow for nested and grouped filters as well. In this example, I've already applied a series of filters with a grouped condition, where at the top level, I have filtered my calendar year to the current calendar year, and in addition, I have created a grouped series of filters with an OR operator to look for category is not home appliances and subcategory is not washers and dryers. These are combined with an OR statement, and these collectively then are combined with the upper filter using an AND statement. And this logic is highly customizable for any of your business requirements. Plus, when this is published to the Power BI service, there is an option for persist filters, which will ensure that in reading view, these filters remain applied.